now have a, a presentation sponsored by RICO where we're looking at how we can empower employees to be ESG advocates. I was lucky enough to speak with Jake um, about, about a month ago and we talked to the initiatives that RICO are doing, not just on this, but many others. And it was an enlightening discussion. So it's my pleasure to hand over to Jake Yamashita, the president and CEO of RICO, to talk to more of this. Jake, it's all yours. Thanks, thank you. Thank you very much, Liam. Uh, thank you all for the great honor of meeting here today. It's humbling to be among such a esteemed CEOs, executives, uh, business leaders, and the ministers driving truly dedicated work in the ESG arena. While we are here from different backgrounds and with different experience, we have one shared goal, which is to tackle the climate crisis that is already upon us. Today, I will share some insight from my own experience and the lessons we have learned along the way at RICO. RICO is very committed to its own ESG journey. Some of you may know RICO as a market leading manufacturer of printers with 80,000 plus employees in 200 countries. But today, we have grown into a global digital services company. During this tremendous transformational journey of our own, ESD has always been a core tenant of our approach. As a manufacturer, we pioneered our own circular economy model that we call the Comet Circle. Back in 1994, evaluating every aspect of the project life cycle to produce environmental impact. We've read the market when it comes to sustainability in print. Today, we also consider how our digital services portfolio can support, drive, and innovate in the ESG agenda. And I could stand here today and talk to you about our vast digital services portfolio and how our collaboration solutions help our customers across the globe cut their carbon footprint for travel emissions, or how our suite of hyper automation offering supports customers to be ever more efficient and digitalize paper processes with numerous ESG associated benefits. But I'm not going to talk about our products and solutions today. If you want to know more about our approach there, it's catch up later. So instead, I want to talk about the opportunity we all have to empower employees to be ESG advocates. Rico's roots reach back 86 years to 1936 when our visionary founder, Kiyoshi Ichimura, started our companies with principles that still resonate today. He poured his heart and soul into his work and treated employees with respect and uh, equity. The founding, the founding principles the formulated in 1946, uh, love your neighbor, love your country, love your work. Remember, these founding ideas from the 1940s were set as Japan and the rest of the world. Was coming out of the devastation of World War II. These principles are ahead of their time in terms of putting people at the heart of business. For a long time now, 
The second principle, love your country, has been interpreted by Rico as love your planet. This care of the world around us is something that is universally relatable from our employees to our customers, investors, and society at large. Continually making those, these principles res resonate with our 80,000 plus employees has been at heart of our success. Regardless of the time we live in, let me take a, a moment now to share my vision for Rico, at the modern digital services company. Well, before becoming CEO five years ago, it was my passion to effect positive change. Central to this vision is the essential link between employee happiness and business success. Many organizations see the, the value is happy staff equals happy customers, which equals a strong business. But I want to take, take it further. For Rico, this isn't just an idea. This concept, which we call fulfillment through work, drives everything we do. At the simplest level, and convinced that when employees are motivated and inspired by their work, they will pursue excellence. Creating the motivation requires sustained effort, and the ESG agenda is fundamental element of this, which I will explain. Everyone in this room will recognize that the employees want to work the companies with a strong social purpose. But there's often mismatch between the C-suite decision makers and our employees when it comes to the ESG agenda. In a study we conducted across Europe, I was dismayed to see that one in four business leaders believe their organization cannot make improvements to reduce this environmental impact. 60% of decision makers agreed there are no incentives for C-suite executives to help mitigate environmental impacts. About the same percentage felt unsure or didn't have the resources to make a mean, meaningful impact. Employees, on the other hand, expected better. Two-thirds of European employees expect their employers to be part of the solution for issues such as climate change and inequality. And over the quarter of the European workers said they would be willing to take a 10% pay cut to work for an employer committed to helping solve societal issues. So the will is there. Our employees are motivated. They ex expected their employers to do something. How do we harness these, these ESG advocates? Thirsty to make a real difference? The IPCC chair, Dr. Hoson Lee, recently said, we are at the crossroads. The discussion, decisions we make now can secure a livable future, and of course, he is right. It is cru crucial that businesses take robust action. Rico, for example, is taking aggressive steps to meet ambitious environmental targets. 
We recently revised our greenhouse gas reduction targets from 30% by 2030 to 63% because we are well on track to surpass our initial goals. We are implementing improvements across all our operations, including prioritized zero energy buildings. We have implemented digital manufacturing that use I IoT technology, which alone has reduced power consumption by 70% in our manufacturing plants. And I'm proud that RICO was not only the first Japanese company to join the RE100, but that we encouraged numerous other CEOs to join too. As co-chair of the Japan Climate Leaders Partnership, I'm strongly encouraging the Japanese government to deepen its commitment to maximize the use of renewable, renewable energy. These actions are impactful. And many of us are doing similar initiatives in our respective industries to make a difference. However, there is still disconnect. In my experience, most employees see these kind of solutions and uh, actions from the business rather than something they are able to truly engage with as individuals. But it is individual employees who can perhaps make the difference between meeting corporate targets and creating Dr. Lee's livable future for every human being on the plant, planet. At RICO, we've decided a lot of uh, resources to help employees understand the ESG agenda. And I've been astounded by the impact. This effort starts from the top, of course. We carefully looked at uh, now how and where our organization can support the ESG agenda with rigorous materiality assessments. But the crucial step is to help employees really truly understand the ESG agenda. This might sound simple, but even today, employees, even senior leaders, are still confused about the difference between the sustainability, CSR, ESG, and the SDGs, and with so many initials. That's no surprise. We must engage them in every way, every way possible, whether through training, regular communications, as we do at RICO, holding our annual global SDGs action months, where all employees proactively engage in a huge range of activities to direct, directly support the SDGs. I recently challenged our employees not only to see how their work was connected to SDGs, but to also be able to articulate it to the um, co-workers, families, and friends. In this year, year's event, the global photo contest, uh, competition showcased uh, so many inspiring individual activities from employees worldwide and really helped connect people where language barriers exist. Along with other KPIs, we linked our ESG targets and employer engagement, employee engagement scores to directors and executive officers' compensation. 
Once employees started to see the link between their role and the ESG agenda, the magic began to happen. We saw innovation springing up in new ways across the organization. For example, our employees say, so how we could apply our photoconductor technology from copiers and printers to develop energy harvesting cells capable for generating power in low light area illuminating the need for battery replacements. They saw a direct connection to how this would enable new IoT digital services, unthinkable only a few years ago. Another example comes from our core inkjet technology that sees Rico developing 3D bioprinting that can deposit living cell very precisely layer by layer by layer, as well as conducting potentially life-saving work in drug and disease research using iPS cells. In both these samples, examples, employees say, opportunity to resolve issues by applying their expertise to areas beyond their daily job. However, the motivation started not because of the demand from senior management. Employees saw bigger purpose in the connection between their roles and ESD that spurred their passion and curiosity. And all this means that our fulfillment through work vision is coming to life. It's happening for us, and it can for you. As customers and our employees find fulfillment through their work, it enables their creativity. It goes then to ability to ride their thinking to that next level, beyond their day-to-day -day tasks, and consider how their work is connected to the environmental and society. It is small things that often resonate with our employees. This combination is the win-win for our businesses, customers, our employees, and our planet. So my message is this. If you are a leader in an organization, all your employees can be ESG advocates, ready to help us all make the shift we so need, beyond just the business actions. We cannot resolve everything with that top-down approach. We know we still have the way to go at RICO. ESG is an ever-changing landscape with new targets, directives, and data coming out daily. It takes a lot of imagination and commitment to continuously engage staff across our global organization, global organization to see how ESG fit with their role. But I believe motivated and fulfilled em employees are an untapped force in creating sustainable society. And if we get it right, the reward for our entire planet is more than worth it. There is an old says that is very special to me. We do not inherit the jazz from our ancestors.
We borrow it from our children. So let's work together to save our planet today and not just leave it up to future generations to serve. Finally, today is very, very special day for me. I got good opportunity, great opportunity to, to make uh, this presentation today. And another one is, I became grandfather this, this morning. <laughs> <laughs> so, thank you. Thank you. So, now we uh, borrow the, the earth from my granddaughter. So, we have to save this planet. Thank you very much.